Wow, hi everybody. I've decided to uh, cook a dinner, a little bit of a Christmas dinner for some um, some local homeless people. And um, just doing the uh, roast potatoes, but very simply, the thing to do with roast potatoes is to uh, blanch them off. So boil them up in some uh, boiling water, just sort of semi-cook them, blanch them, and then what you're going to do is put them in the oven and roast them. This is uh, the top secret ingredient, this is goose fat, which gives you the greatest, top secret tip, greatest um, roast potatoes you can ever have. And um, so we've got some roast potatoes I'm doing there. Let's share what's on the cooker with you. Um, we've got, uh, I'm going to have honey carrots, uh, peas, cauliflowers, uh, the turkey is just defrosting, the um, roast potatoes are going to go in the oven fairly soon. Um, let me just share something else with you. I'm making some Yorkshire pudding, so this is my Yorkshire pudding mix, so it's plain flour, milk, equal quantities. I've put a couple of eggs in this, whisk it up till it's nice and uh, smooth, put it in the fridge to cool. And um, put the oil in your tray, but you've got to make sure the oil is as hot as possible, the mixture is as cool as can be. Hello, Gracie! And that gives you great gives you So this is uh, a bit of spring green, bit of cabbage. All I'm going to do is put a uh, teaspoonful of um, bicarb, just uh, bicarbonate soda, just sprinkle it over the top. That's all you need. That'll give us lovely soft greens. Probably not enough there in truth for everyone who have loads, but everyone will get a little toast. Boiling water on top of that. Put that one side. Okay, so here's our roast potatoes. Like I say, just blanch them off in boiling water. Uh, a little bit of um, virgin olive oil with a little bit of goose fat gives you the greatest roast potatoes you will ever have. Uh, carrots, all we've done there, just um, uh, sliced your carrots up. I'm going to put honey on top. The uh, kids absolutely love honey carrots. Don't have to go mad, but I uh, normally sort of nice dessert spoonful of good quality honey. All over the carrots. They'll have to go in a slightly bigger saucepan. Uh, as soon as one becomes available. They are going to be lush. I have to admit honey carrots are my kids favourite vegetable. Okay, this is in fact uh, just a beer. But, uh, let's see, let's see how it goes. Now that's how to open a bowl. You don't want it spilling everywhere. Share this with you. <laughs> These homeless people, they seem to be enjoying themselves. See if we can get a good meal inside them. Okay, so I'm just dishing up this bit of dinner for uh, <coughs> these good people. So honey carrots, a few peas. Hasn't cost a fortune. You know, you can have a nice uh, big plate of vegetables, that'll fill you up for sure. Come out the oven. Roast potatoes. They are going to be hot. They don't look too bad, do they? This fat will give you grey roast potatoes. Uh, 
Okay, what we've got to do now is get the meat out. Here we go. Give you a little look at that, all ready to carve. Who wouldn't be pleased to have that on a plate? So this is the uh, Christmas dinner that I've done for these homeless people. <laughs> and uh, as, oh, you can, you. as you can see, it's kind of the normal crowd. This is our sort of Christmas get together. And uh, um, just really wanted to say thank you for, you know, following the channel, supporting us all over the year. Yeah, sure. And uh, this is our Christmas dinner. We are in fact having an urban bug in as opposed to a <laughs> bug out this year. <laughs> But uh, we're going to have a bit of dinner, uh, a few nice drinks, support. and we'll maybe share the rest of the evening with you. But for now, we're going to tuck in before the food gets cold. Okay, everybody, uh, we've had the kind of Christmas dinner, so to speak, and uh, we're all back after a little bit of a drink and uh, some social interaction at the uh, local uh, hostelry. And uh, here we are. So, uh, cigars, beautiful single malts out. Uh, got some uh, Hennessy and some uh, Calvados. So, uh, this is uh, phase two. <laughs> Pete's uh, been kind enough to give us all uh, gifts. I've got a couple of uh, top secret cockroaches. You can never have enough cockroaches. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I said that. There they are, Pete. Uh, Funky's bought us a beautiful drink. Uh, we got the cigars out. Uh, the world's a beautiful place. Oh, oh that was bad. Whatever you do, don't wake the children up. Yeah. You know what? Hey? But instead of you know what I really need? There's a really some really good stuff. All of us have uh, brought out our favourite tools. So uh, Funky has the Cold Steel Recon Montana. Yeah, I've got the uh, oh, really? CRKT and Columbia River Knife and Tool. Oh, I mean, I'll uh, try that one. Lone Wolf has got. A, uh, I've got a, a new uh, oh, UK nice. legal folding bushcraft knife from uh, Willowwood Knives. Jason. Jason. Yeah, uh, Jason. Jason to be on trial. And it's, uh, well, it's all from this one. So it's, uh, <laughs> Red what have you got, Pete? I've got a um, latest tripod. You've got a tripod, yeah. That's a step down the shadows. When you put the tripod on, you've got the R2. Do you know what? If I was a different kind of guy, I'd ask you to marry me. Yeah, I'm Christmas is coming bloody November, that's insane. <laughs> I might upload this, so I just proved it's me being my voice, my outdoors. I'm quite nervous, Steve. 